Hello, all my YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, well, I got a experiment today, actually. I want to test out the uh, mini laptop hull drive I have here, but not in the actual computer, but off of this uh, USB an e SATA uh, connection port and I want to see if I can boot off of this hard drive this actually has Windows 10 on it and see what it does now I haven't tested it typically you can't boot anything off of a external uh, device except for stuff being inside the computer uh, to boot from. Well, let's go ahead and show you what I mean and show you the computer and you guys seen it before, but it's a modification I did to it you actual never seen before on this auto e-machine computer. Let's go ahead and find out what that is. Well, you've seen this before, um, but Certainly, it's a lot different with the old e-machine uh, desktop computer over here. Now, here's the little docking station. It's just a single uh, docking station for different style hard drives. And also on the actual back of the drive, uh, case here, docking station, we have power, 12 volts, USB, and also e -setter. Well, you've seen this old uh, computer before, but you actually have not seen a modification I did to the actual machine itself to get eSATA to actually work on the old desktop computer. Then I'm going to show you how everything hooks up. Now, this is called a docking station. This is for bigger drives or even small drives. Of course, you got your uh, jack button, your data light style. And also on the back, we have PAL, 12 volts, USB, and plus e SATA connectivity. Now, most computers don't always have an e SATA port, but if we pan down here, if we take off the actual front uh, plate here of the old e-machine computer, put that off to the side. Now, you can kind of see down here, there is the little e-SATA connector. I modded the computer uh, to use the old e-SATA port. This is connected to the motherboard uh, inside, and I will show you that as well. Alright, how did I modify uh, this case with the e SATA port? Well, I had a hard drive case, an external uh, case that actually came with an e SATA uh, port uh, on it as well. But I'm going to uh, gladly show you it itself. It's down below, right there. And all it is is plugs right into the motherboard. Now, the one thing, if you're going to do this kind of experiment, is make sure you disconnect your actual main uh, hard drive uh, for this to actual work. It's a very nice laid out board and that's how it connects directly to the motherboard. And let's go ahead and see if we can get it to boot externally instead of being internal. Let's go. Go ahead and hook everything up. You're probably thinking to yourself, uh, it's impossible to boot a uh, device from external uh, versus internal. Well, I'm going to prove you and show you. I hope it works because I never done it this way before anyways. 
And of course, taking just a standard E SATA. That's all this plug is. It's a standard E SATA plug. And you plug it into the port uh, down here. But I think it's kind of interesting to mod and uh, tinker around with computers. Yeah, this may not work uh, the first time trying it, but let's go ahead and see what it does. I don't know. I'm waiting for the screen to load here. If it's going to do anything. All right. Uh, let's get the uh, stuff going now. and see if it boots. No, of course if it doesn't boot I'm going to shut you guys up and thus let the computer decide what it needs to do. I will come right back. Alright, so far we have the loading screen uh, on the computer of Windows 10. Now typically uh, it may work it may not. It may take a little time for it to recognize the drive and boot up uh, into Windows 10. Now, you might get some uh, weird error messages. It may just restart the computer. But I really never tried it this way before. And I'm very surprised. Uh, running Windows 10 on a 10 year old PC. It seems to uh, work perfectly fine, I guess. Now, of course, it's going to do its diddly uh, thing here and uh, stuff like that. But, you know what? I am just going to let the computer decide to do what it needs to do. I will come right back once everything is loaded and booted. I do apologize. This is going to take a little longer than I expected. So far we're up and running on the desktop, it is 2.42 uh, Thursday, May 12, 2016, and there you go, it sure does work. Let me grab the mouse and keyboard here and see what we uh, can monkey around with actually, I'm very surprised this actually seems to work. Now, this computer was not designed to boot externally with the hard drive uh, plugged into it. Now, of course, you can try to use a USB, but it may not always seem to work the best way. Now, sometimes everything is a little different when it comes to computers. But I will show you how it is all hooked up and uh, share with you my thoughts of booting externally versus internal, but it's just the way it works. Not every device can boot externally from a USB or even using eSATA connectivity. It doesn't always seem to work, but it does if you have it uh, set up proper on your computer. Now, uh, this computer is a little older, and it's running Windows 10 perfectly fine, and I give it a thumbs up for a new operating system working on an older computer. Let's go ahead and show you how I have everything hooked up for a closer shot for you can kind of see. Alright, that is Windows 10 on a very old uh, standard basic system. It's a e-machine desktop. And of course, there is my e-SATA coming out the front. Normally it should be in the back. But here you can see there's the small laptop drive connected with 12 volts power and also the e-SATA coming from that. And it's booted perfectly fine. I can do mostly uh, anything I need on this old uh, desktop, 
Well, the only thing I can't really do is to edit on this computer. It's a bit too slow. But let's go ahead and end the vlog. Well, I am so far pretty happy with the way this old computer is actually working with Windows 10. And it's also booted perfectly fine off of the docking station. Now, this is only like testing purposes. If you want your main drive and you don't want to put Windows 10 on it and you're owning Windows 7, use a different uh, hard drive for you can uh, get experimented in uh, learning uh, Windows 10. But you don't want to just shut the hard drive off. You want to make sure you shut it down the proper way of shutting any type of system off Anyways, now, uh, of course, I will be putting this back on. I'm not going to draw any type of holes in the actual front cover because I would like to keep that as a hidden little uh, compartment uh, there in case if I want to do some more on experiments with the eSATA connectivity uh, connection. All right. If you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog, uh, bye for right now, for your boy guys. And have fun experimenting with computers.